Episode number 18. I'm confused. Space pigeons are in my podcast. Space Pigeon Radio. Featuring the Sons of Atwood. Podcasting now. Close to Atwood, Georgia. Are we ready to start this shit? I lived in a storm drain my whole life. I've never heard anything. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Yeah, you hit that like button bu- below. Smash that like button. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> expecting a bit more grams. What? What? Oh, shit. That's right. Turn my music up. It's 1999. No, motherfucker, that's wrong. <laughs> 2018 recap. It's 2018 recap. Oh, 2018 recap. Uh-huh. <laughs> Live. Yeah, 2018 <laughs> recap. It's the 2018 recap. Yo. 2018 has been a magical year. Such a time to be alive with joy. You just already fucked it up on a. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, come on. That's a good analogy for 2018. 2018 has been a magical year. Such a time to be alive, filled with joy and cheer. North Korea and Russia became our buds. People learned how to swim in the raging floods. Immigrant kids got to live in tents and get new moms and dads and live with no rent. School children got to meet the NRA and it wasn't even career day. Stormy Daniels told us all about the president's pubes and Harvey Weinstein got the whole party saying me too. Louis C.K., James Gunn and other guys have more skeletons go mouth in that pool and poltergeist. The day Dr. Ford came to testify People around the world started to cry Because their testimony was so credible In the hippocampus it was indelible The NFL took a knee And Roseanne took a tweet The tax plan took money And Kavanaugh took a seat Donald Trump had a dream about his daughter The wettest we've ever seen in terms of water Many people went hungry but they got better not worse Because Thanos came and killed half the universe That's the 2018 recap All of that was in 2018 I think that's most of it. The, most, the majority of it. Majority. It's some of it's a little bit left over from previous years. But it mostly happened in 2018. Pigeon Radio, people! Space Pigeons! The Space Pigeon Radio! In 2018! Space Pigeons! It's Space Pigeon! It's Space Pigeon Radio! In 2018! Episode 18! In 2018! Episode 18! In 2018! Episode 18! In 2018! Episode 18! In 2018!
back, just like herpes, for Mike Wal- Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> My dog is scared to death. <laughs> hey, and it's Space Pigeon Radio, back. This is episode 18. Episode 18. Hey. How's everyone going? A lot has happened. Yes. But nothing has happened also. Sure. Um, that was deep. Yes. <laughs> uh like Donald Trump is still an asshole and people are still dying in hurricanes so it's like a lot that was the last thing we had mentioned in the last episode where was that people were dying in hurricanes and then we were trying to think well what's the next awful calamity going to be that happens and we decided a volcano and that's exactly what happened the volcano did actually happen yeah yes. yep. yep tore open a hole but it's done now I think for it's now. done yeah. for now I've been thinking a lot about how um, the problems that we have would be solved if there was, um, like, the, if more people could not use the internet. Mm-hmm. Like, if you if you almost, be less conflict. If you had to like have like a license, like a driver's license, to use the internet, like you have to prove like that you're not like totally stupid, and then you're okay to use the internet. You get a license and stuff. Right, just like driving. You should be like, yeah. Well, you should have to take like an equivalency test or something, or you know. Yeah, something. Yeah, because like because everybody can use the internet. Oh, no. bad things are happening. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Yeah, and I think a lot of the uh, a lot of the people that kind of my theory is the people that have been around for the internet the longest are kind of been mixed up in with it. You know, when they were younger. You know, like people that are our age. Mm-hmm. I feel like, or that were there before it was fast or anything like that. They're that's the least people that are getting on some sort of soapbox and bitching at people. And th- when there was a filter, like everyone wasn't on the internet. Yeah. it was like you had to have a fascination with it. Yeah, now that it- you had to know some shit to do, mm-hmm. you know, get on there and do something. And now it's like you can just do anything. You can pull the thing out of your pocket and say, yeah. Burr, you know, there was no say, chance. Sam, you know, like there's no chance Great Aunt Charlotte was going to find what you had to say. Sure. Yeah. 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 Or, you know, uh, Uncle Donnie or, you know. <laughs> I, I'm just afraid the internet's going to bring about the end of times, the end of civilization. Yeah, I don't know. People are just angry. They're wanting to find, like, something to be angry about and it, it's it seems like it's coming from all directions. I have, I live in a neighborhood with a very angry HOA. Um, yeah, I went that. I went to an HOA meeting. I never thought I would, but I went because they gave us this sudden um, $300 like assessment like out of nowhere we have no, like, we have normal money we have to pay the HOA yeah. but they mismanaged their budget very badly this year trying to build a new clubhouse uh-huh. and it pissed off everybody because all of a sudden it's like you have to pay $300 by the end of this month so they had Is a meeting every, every month you have to pay an extra just, just this uh, month okay. but they had a meeting the whole neighborhood came out to the meeting and like I went to it and I I, I, I took part in my community I asked a question I said why did these fees have to happen this year? Why couldn't you wait to open the damn clubhouse the next year and then yeah. like take take that money next year after yeah. you get your normal dues and everything? Yeah. And they they sidestepped the answer, the yeah. board members and everything. But I recorded some of the the <laughs> HOA session because people were getting angry. Yeah. Speaking about all this anger, sure. like there was some sure. angry people. There's a lot of green slime under like the United States right now, or not green. I'm sorry, pink. pink. pink there were slime. Some children in this meeting, and there yeah. were f bombs being dropped. And nice. there were, like, let me. I'm gonna see if it, this will play. <laughs> Let's see if you can hear this. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Awesome. I turn this up. I'll turn this up louder. Okay, this is surreptitiously recorded. If you see my laptop, here you guys can see kind of. Um, okay. yes. You knew that we had this many parking spaces. You're telling us we can get it to 72. You know you're about to build parking spaces. You know it. It's all fabrication. Did you not think, oh my God, people may want to park? That was a concern. I will have to say. (laughs) So, uh, that's one. What the fuck? And then, so did they just not build parking spaces? Is that a kid? We were very concerned. So people yeah, just like people just mad and yeah. angry Fuck. at each other. People people on the board defending themselves, sounding very righteous, holier than thou, like this. Yeah. How, how hard is it to manage money? We did the best we could.
when you vote us out, the new board will have it all under control. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> like spiteful, well, hateful. So basically, angry. now everybody Just, in the neighborhood hates each other. Yeah, and we had to pay $300. Up. And you got to pay $300. Or else what, though? Um, They're going to make everyone move Then you out of their can't house? go to the pool. Like, if you don't yeah. keep up on your dues, you can't go to the pool. That's the main thing that it matters then about. Then they can so, put a lien on your house. Exactly. So, and uh, I'd like to say, bullshit. by the way, we didn't properly introduce the fact that Matt Hinkle is here in nah, the building. Man. This is just going to be a normal thing from now on. Yeah. We're very yeah. excited. Thank you. Yes. You guys uh, look familiar. Have we met? I think we we met <laughs> we met in a dream, a uh, kind of a coked out, you know, heroin dream years ago. Yes. Looked like Our, that guy on the beer label. Yeah. Didn't we <laughs> didn't we grow up in the same town or something? I believe so. You believe so. Um, but did you bring any of your beer? I asked I, him to. I, but, I, I drank it all. Oh, okay. And uh, some of the bottles exploded. Some weren't carbonated. <laughs> so I, I drank the good ones. Yeah. yeah. I remember that scene from Breaking Bad when, what's his name? Hank, Hank is Schrader making. Brow. Hank's Sh- making sh- sh- uh, Schrader Brow. And, uh, and the bottles exploded. And he thought they were gunshots. So, <laughs> so what is your beer making process? Do you do anything special? Or do you fi- kind of follow the book? I, I just follow the recipe. I I, uh, I invested in this machine called the Grain Father. <laughs> it's it's kind of an all-in-one brewing system. Cool. So yeah. is it? So you just you you kind of like you get you get the 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 set. I'm just I just looked up and saw fucking that picture freaked me out. Oh, David Bowie, <laughs> David and Bowie Paul and McCartney Paul picture. McCartney. Yeah, yeah we were talking about that a minute ago. Fuck. Uh, David Bowie should have played the Joker at some point. I know. Uh, anyways, so uh, so when you get the beer kit stuff, it just has the hops and the man, barley or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck, and then you just kind of go through the fermenting process and everything. Yeah, you have to you have to mash the grain mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to extract all the sugars, and you boil it. And mm-hmm. when you boil it, that's when you add your hop additions. Okay. Cool. But see, at that point, you could put like orange peel or whatever the yeah, fuck in it, right? Just all depends on the style. Are you gonna you're Are you gonna start fucking around with it at some point? I don't know. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna brew next. Okay. So, I need it to cool off because it's too hot in the house for fermentation. I think stuff ferments too fast. Mm-hmm. Well, it's about to get cold. So. And then the tap water is mm-hmm. warm, so when I'm trying to cool down the wort after boiling. The chiller takes mm. forever to do it and doesn't get it below like eighty degrees. Does it stink? It wasn't. Didn't smell too bad. Okay. No. I mean, I. <laughs> I mean, there's yeast and shit. I like, mean, I made know. I made the hefeweizen. That was the first beer, so it only had one hop addition right at the beginning as a boil, so it mm-hmm. didn't really smell hoppy. Mm-hmm. So, but if I do a IPA or something next that has Do more hops, it, it might stink yeah. a little more. Which, like beer? Which I like beer. Flavor? I still like beer. Yeah, we drank beer. We drank beer. Uh, you should, yeah, yeah. Half keg Kavanaugh. Like <laughs> Do you still like, like beer? beer? Still like beer. Yeah, we drank beer. Yeah, we drank beer. <laughs> Brett Kavanaugh drank a lot of beer. He Dude. Said. <laughs> You want to make sure that everybody knew he is his calendars, though. That um, who the fuck keeps yeah, calendars beer. for? He's crying. Dude, the Matt Damon shit, like that was fucking classic. Because he's like, I got these calendars. And he starts crying. I'm gonna start at eleven. <laughs> it's gonna go to fifteen goes, real quick. Squee, and you know, yeah. he goes, he goes, uh, double donkey Dan Dan. <laughs> I still think yeah, uh, drank beer. Drank Bob Odenkirk beer. would have been a good would have. It would, it would have looked Kavanaugh. exactly like him. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. <laughs> Tuesday the the fifth. Massive boof train. Massive boof train. <laughs> Massive boof train. <laughs> train Devil's triangle. What does boof mean? I was like, <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah, dude. It's, I was I was listening to it on NPR at work, and I was I was like setting up a fucking computer system, and I was like, they said boof. I like fucking almost fell on the ground laughing. <laughs> I was like. Can you train? explain what a boof means? What's a what's a boof train? <laughs> what is boofing? We're gonna, uh, we need to call your friend did Tyler I Lingwall and ask him what a boof is. <laughs> did I say that on epi- episode that my mom asked me what a, what a boof was? Or no, I think boof train. This is where we're at right now. That we're in a weird time, man. Where I don't remember like what happened. Yeah. At all, like. <laughs> yeah, ten years ago. What? I mean, what is boofing? What? <laughs> Explain I, that to I me. I am Lindsey Graham. I need to know what this boofing is. This is horrible. Is. I need to know what boofing is in case I get in a boofing situation. <laughs> Have you ever boofed? <laughs> Will you in any point in the future boof? <laughs> or have you at any time? We should uh, 
We need an FBI investigation on boofing. On boofing? It's uncovered a lot of boofing. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, it'll be <laughs> as thorough and as complete as the supplemental FBI investigation a couple weeks ago. Yep. No, n- nothing's off limits. They didn't, they didn't interview anybody? Nothing's <laughs> off limits, guys. Hey, that is a segue. That That's, is a... Like, you've been doing this for a while. That was a nice little... Yeah. Transit, little throw. He goes been yes. doing. He goes, he goes been doing drive time radio. I, I watched the. I listened. Yeah. And watched the previous episodes. Yes. <laughs> ghost, <laughs> ghost, got ready. Ghost Hinkle. Ghost what, do you, what do you guys think about the yelling people out of restaurants thing? Fucking stupid. Who's doing this? Uh, they did it to Ted Cruz. Like they did it to, uh, yeah, you're not allowed to go eat, and then yeah. people are like, "Hey, fuck uh, you!" Huckabee's daughter was t- that happened. You're just too. not allowed to be and exist. Yeah. Uh, well, I, like I think it, like it's counterproductive and it's fucking stupid. Like, it's probably not the right way to yeah fix a s- problem. I do remember when uh, Bob Barr was at Starbucks and Hinkle um, wanted to punch him in the face. Yeah, I do remember that. And you were like, "That son of a bitch!" <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh yeah, that is Bob Barr. Uh, you got so uh, there was this thing. So uh, people that have listened to the podcast a lot have uh, heard about. Uh, you mean Bob Donlin? Uh, yes, Bob Donlin. Hello, hello. Uh, have heard about uh, uh, our sponsor, Mattress Firm, and they. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Sadly. Uh, yep. You heard it on 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 uh, the Sun's Facebook page first. Yeah, they're shuttering their doors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Michael, you you kind of had texted me uh, the the. Yeah, yeah. So I think they had absorbed. I think like Sleepies went out of business, That's and a then thing. they they bought them. Yeah. And then so all of a sudden that contributed them to them having so many locations. But there was like a short paragraph that was like eight yeah. words. It's uh, it says um, in a chapter eleven filing, uh, the the CEO said that his company had too many locations in close proximity <laughs> to each other. You just got a fucking master's business, master's in business. Um, you don't say. <laughs> it really didn't make any sense. How far do you have to go, seriously? They really? they were on the news though, talking about how it was a sustainable Everywhere. business model because there's just so many. Like if they only sell one mattress a month, dude, you know everything's the, fine. You know the problem with their business model is what everybody buys their shit on the internet now. Like so, they go in there and sh- try out the bed, and then they go, "Oh, I'm gonna go fucking buy it on Amazon." Like, yeah. So we have a new sponsor now because we we lost uh, this old sponsor. Um, uh, this is supposed to be in the public domain, so hopefully this will work fine. This is public domain music for the ad. That I'm gonna read. Okay. You've got copy. We yeah, we have a new sponsor awesome. on Space Pigeon Radio because uh, of Mattress Firm uh, going out of business. So it's uh, our sponsor this week is Dullard Chef. Dullard Chef is an exciting new way to eat healthy and delicious meals at home, just like you'd expect to get in a restaurant. Except you do the cooking using pre-measured gourmet ingredients with a recipe sent directly to you. It's farm to table, to boxes, to your mail carrier, to pots and pans, to you and your family's open mouths. For a low monthly cost of $600, imagine being able to wow your guests with braised sock pork. Mm, that sounds good. Steamed new leather beans. Fuck yeah. And tangy ink squash souffle. Ooh, you know, you know we tried that last week. It's it easy good. and simple, and all of the instructions tell you exactly what to do. Your family will love the taste of sautéed ga- ga- galoche asparagus, cheesy mercury tacos, mm. and yummy coconut stapled ceviche. Ooh, that's great. The portions are all just right, and the quality is just like you'd expect from a five-star New Jersey restaurant. Whether it's health-conscious options like West Virginia window kale tapenade <laughs> or blacklight couscous surprise, you won't just subscribe to Dullard Chef. You'll be Dullard Chef. Maybe you were Dullard Chef all along. Maybe you'll realize that's why things never quite turned out for you. Why your parents turned their backs on you. You never tried hard enough with anything. Never took chances. Never said to yourself, I'm going to just come up with something to make with these eggs and flour. No. You always needed someone to tell you what to do. That's why you need someone to hand you every damn thing instead of going to the store. It's like your whole sham of a life. Riding on other people's coattails. Never the innovator. Never blazing a trail. You're worth nothing because you are nothing. Your dreams and your goals withered on the vine like dead grapes or muscadines. 
Speaking of muscadines, muscadines you'll love the succulent muscadine gauze tarts. Mmm, those sound good. And many more indulgent desserts that will have everyone at the table acting like animals. Like delectable amaretto shingle balls and sinful chocolate pimp cakes. Yum. So good. Dullard Chef. Try a free month using code 999BallisticMissile at checkout when you visit dullardchef.god. Dullard Chef, where you cook and we all laugh. You know, Ryan, I really enjoy Dullard Chef. Uh, it really kind of brings the whole family together. It's, it's, it's just a fantastic product. It does kind of make you sick from time to time, but but it's, you know, the, the you know, togetherness, I think, is really what, you know, and it, if, you, if you basically can, uh, can, you know, color within the lines like you can basically cook a five-star meal it's it's fantastic and uh sometimes it comes out really bad mm. but you know you know you know you, you just keep at it though, you just really. keep at it sometimes you shit your pants it's fine though i'm know? glad you've had such su- such success. oh it's great oh it's oh, it's fantastic yes and the umami in it oh the umami so good mm-hmm. fantastic mm-hmm. i like dollar that. chef some of that dollar chef do they have a chicken they do have chicken Hey, like I, was, I, I asked everybody. Uh, I asked everybody earlier today. Okay. I said, uh, "Hey, before I came here today, guess what I had? What? What did you have, Michael Crow? You guys don't get to play. Oh, because I already asked. Well, them. I, I get. I get you to get play? two guesses. Two guesses. Okay. I know the two things that you usually eat. Well, what's your first guess? My first guess is, is chicken. No. My second guest is tacos. <laughs> That's his first exactly. and second guest. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. They were both wrong. No, we, uh, neither of those. But I did what have tacos have? for breakfast. Okay. Breakfast tacos. Mm. All right. Uh, so what, did, what am I just going to keep guessing? What did you <laughs> have? No, no, no. I had, a, I had a mess of ham. A mess of ham. Yeah. I right. wouldn't have guessed that. I wouldn't have guessed that. No, yeah, but I like ham. ham. Was it like a like a country Good. ham kind of thing? No. Uh, see, I messed. No, it's not country. It's a country ham country story. Ham There's a country ham story. Yeah. No. Spiral cut. <laughs> We're gonna take a break. We'll be Spiral right back. <laughs> Bought a bought a couple new flavors of potato chips, like Kroger. They had Cuban sandwich inspired potato chips. <laughs> Those are pretty good. And then I got a, a red coconut curry potato chips. Ooh. A few years ago, they had they had ones that were Lay's or something. I think they were Lay's, but they were kettle cooked, mm-hmm. and they were wasabi ginger. I didn't mind those. Those are fucking delicious. And they don't ever make them anymore. Do us a flavor. Can you sing a little bit about your life? I get up. I go to Midtown. Park about four blocks away. Walk into the office. Go to the eleventh floor. Gonna grab a coffee, maybe a biscuit. Gonna check my email, see what these fuckers want. These bitches always need something early I don't want to do that You gotta fix what's wrong in my restaurant That shit's broken Fix what's wrong in my restaurant Or my retail space To sell so much food, the customers are so very rude. I can't do it because my company. 
computer sucks. It's all your fault and all you stupid I say you can go kick rocks. Suck my d lick my d I'll get to it when I can. I'm busy right now. Eat my d Maybe I'll just take my business to another company. That guy over there works in the point of sale business. Maybe you can help me out. No. Well, f you too, buddy. Hope you like those chips. That's fine. I don't really care. It's not my company. You can take your business somewhere else. I don't give a shit. I've got people around the block trying to come in here and buy my foods and products. Sweaters and cheese dip, beers and Benadryl. The chips were blocking the camera. <laughs> That's the plight. Every day. That's the point of sale. Every day. Plight. <laughs> That's the point of sale plight song. Yes. God. So, yep. Yeah, God. What's up? You guys know about how uh, we had a counselor <laughs> named uh, uh, Tavanero. Yeah, uh, Ball of Tara Tavanero. Is he dead? Um, no. You know, you know what's up with him lately? <laughs> what? <laughs> So uh, let me just, for people uh, listening to this, uh, 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 you know, around the world, uh, let me take a step back and I'll talk about how uh, we had a counselor in high school. His name was uh, Richard Tavanero. Was it Richard? I Richard yes. Yeah, his Richard? name was Richard oh, yeah. Tavanero. We, um, he was like a high school counselor. He wasn't very remarkable. He had a mole on his face. That's uh, all I remember. And uh, we did a song about that. We said, Mole of Tavanero. We said we did a melodramatic song mm -hmm. uh, on one of the Sons of Ackworth albums. Oh, Tavanero, your mole, it shines with the morning sun. Oh, Tavanero. Sons of Ackler is 20 years old, by the way. You know that? Mm, this wow. year? 20 years ago, you and me and Daniel Walker went into his uh, and, uh, basement. President is a Pimp. Mm -hmm. President is a Pimp. President is a Pimp was one of the first songs we did, oh. as well as the Hinkle song. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other one, M Mother's Teat. So anyways. Came back from personal housekeeping. Mm -hmm. That's right. We were remarking, too, that... Mm -hmm. That was Generation 1. Was, uh, was the Halloween party. <laughs> Ten years was a Halloween party. Years, Twenty years well, ago, 20 years the band ago. formed. So when the band formed, it wasn't long after the band formed. We did a song about our high school guidance counselor called Mole of Tavanero. We played it for a full packed audience at the Strand Theater. Everybody loved it. I think we ripped up a picture of Gary Coleman yeah. with a mole on his face, representing <laughs> Richard Tavanero at the show uh, in a show of defiance. And we said, "Stop this, the real evil" or something against this poor man. <laughs> yeah. Who really uh, did not deserve a bunch of <laughs> shitty asshole uh, teenagers in a high school making fun of his physical appearance. But anyway, it happened. So, Richard Tavanero is here. Counselor, is he here? Are we going to have a big reveal? Um, no. We're going to have a reveal, though, uh, if you don't know about this. So, Mr. Mr. Richard Tavanero, who was just an unremarkable high school guidance counselor, <laughs> um, it now turns out is an actor. Okay. So, uh, Michael is in the class of... Uh, you want to say the yeah, class that you're in, or you're, you're embarrassed? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who, who, who doesn't know? It's a, the <laughs> class of 98 uh, group on Facebook. Ah. Uh, you know, because all I ever, every time I see, I've got a notice from there. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, who died now? No. Right? They're going to let everyone know. <laughs> Brienne lost their uh, battle. So, you got to let everyone know. <laughs> oh, so... Uh, Not that but, old. Yeah. So I was looking on there, and, the, and then I saw was, uh, Richard Tavernero posted in class of 98. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, I wonder what that's about. And I looked, and he was promoting his like film festival, or he had a link to his IM, IMDB page. And then, then I... 
Now, now let later, me stop you for a second. Okay. He went onto a Facebook page for the North Cobb High School That's class of 1998 to promote a personal endeavor about Why? a film festival that he was involved in. Why? Let that sink in for a second. <coughs> Think about how weird it is for your high school guidance counselor to go onto your Facebook class group to promote something he's doing in the film industry. Now carry on. Yeah, no. And then, <laughs> and then like the only the only uh, comment on that like uh, there was no none of the classes the people in the class of 98 were commenting. The only comment on that was from Melanie Shellnut. So Miss Tavernero and Miss Shellnut Ms. are having this yeah. conversation on our class page about uh, uh, here I am and I, I was in 42. He was an umpire in 42 and uh, oh the Jackie Robinson movie yeah 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 and uh, I watched that yeah and then he made that but he also directed some films too they were a little what? out there and uh, 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 well, Melanie Shellnut said oh Richard I always knew you would do uh, you would do great things and he's like thank you Melanie and no one from our class at all is talking to them like. So so we'll we'll maybe put some of this into the show, but the thing is, he was in these movies, and he's got a demo reel on YouTube that yes. everybody should watch. I want to see this, and I'm going to turn it around this thing, so you guys can maybe <laughs> try to see it. I don't know if uh, can you see my screen? Here you go, Richard Tavernero. That's uh, that's not him, but he had his mole removed. That's the other crazy yes, thing. Really, the damn mole is not on his face anymore. So he's the umpire in this scene. Yeah, uh, he's the home plate. umpire. Home plate umpire. Okay, we're so you watching. Can't uh, see him. Oh, you'll see it for a second. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, uh, Here comes Jackie Robinson. Okay. That's uh, Black Panther. Okay, you'll see his acting. Didn't he play right. here? <laughs> I didn't see it. So now here he is as a doctor. I wasn't gonna tell him. I wasn't gonna say anything. That's our high school counselor as a doctor in an acting. The Christian film. Miracle uh, series. Do you know what the weird thing is? Is uh, like I don't recognize him. Maybe it's the not like not having the mole. I mean, if who are you? Since I know it's says, him, who vibrations. Are you? And there he is, just a man. Like he's here. in a movie called Vibrations, and it's not a porn. He's also in a movie called Slaw. Uh. That, is a that is a parody of Saw. Here he is, as a as a violent uh uh like uh Navy Seal or something. He's a real sweetheart. He's ready. If I have to take his shots again, I'm getting paid double. Ready okay, now I recognize him. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. So now he's, uh... This is the same movie, I guess? Is this the movie he did? Because he's in it a lot. I don't know, it's another film. Now he's in a... Uh, he's a preacher. Reeds, Sith, is it? It's Supernatural. He went on to the Facebook group for Class of 1998 to say, uh, "Come see this film festival I'm involved is it in." The, is it the Tavernero? Is created. it just films that he did? No, that he created he the film created festival. Created the film festival. Where is it? He hosted it at, at the Strand at Theater, the Strand. where we played oh, dude, the so show. So much it's synchronicity. Where we dude. played the show, yeah. where we played the song about yeah. him. Like he didn't know that, like in that building. What, why 20, is he, 20 why, years uh, earlier. Question. Why does, no, like, he, in between the movies, now he he's like. Brock Sledge. Brock Sledge. In, in between the movies, there's, like, these people that are not. It's like. Looks like a talk show or something. Look, Look at, at this guy. <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe it's an inside. Is he in the back team. of a subway right there? I know a guy who's developed these really great. <laughs> did they cut him off? Why did they cut off his scene? He, he cut himself off. It's his demo. Oh, it's the back of Tipico. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe it's an inside the actor's studio esque show. He vanished. He vanished. Uh, he's immortal right here. So has he done any work with uh, your sister in law? No, no, he's not. <laughs> there he is. You can see the scar? Maybe East Coast talent. Um, he does look like you know the dad in a movie, or like you know the square white guy, like in some scene, like he. Psychopathic he, office he probably, worker. Like I mean, and that's that's all the movies that he's done. Well, uh, I don't think they had a scene from Slaw in that. I reel, bet you he's done a lot of, um, but a lot of like um, uh, people in the crowd, kind of. You know, what do they call that? Extras. Extras, like extra work. I bet you he's done a lot of that. Oh, I'm sure. Certain. Yeah. I'm certain. Yeah. He was probably a zombie in Walking Dead. Yeah, everybody's been. He a zombie was probably in Dead, a, a, point. a dead body in an Avengers film. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, they shoot all those in Atlanta. Well. Um, was, I was the stand-in for Rocket Raccoon before they put the CG in. 
That's actually uh, James Gunn's <laughs> brother. People, pe- speaking of people getting shot around Metro Atlanta, and, Dude, and somebody was shot or, at or North Cobb. Well, uh, yeah. Did you hear about that? I did hear something about that. Yeah, yes, shot, somebody was shot in the park. It was basically that that shopping center across the yeah, street. Somebody had stopped to like it sounded like a bad drug deal or something like, and uh, somebody got shot. And uh, um, but there's a, also a story about how in Kennesaw, it says uh, Kennesaw employee fired. Uh, he threatened subway workers for an eighty cent cheese upcharge at the subway restaurant. <laughs> Which subway? Uh, on Giles Road. It is the on one Cobb next Parkway. To I think it might have been that one that it was right next Cobb to the Public Parkway I used Giles. To, I yeah. think it was where I used to work. That's where uh, fucking Tommy <coughs> and, uh, and Pedro used to work. That's where Tyler got in a fight with a guy. Yeah. Uh, it says a Kennesaw City employee was fired after pretending to be an officer and threatening two Subway restaurant employees for charging for extra cheese on his sub. Authority says. Does Seth still work for the city? Was it Seth? It says, uh, Eric <laughs> McMillan, okay, the city's <laughs> former business license specialist, was arrested Tuesday for allegedly making terroristic threats and impersonating an officer at the subway. Sweet. It says, uh, after employees tried to charge him for extra cheese, he said, I'm going to bust a cap in your expletive. Let's go outside right now. According to the arrest warrant obtained by the news station. And then he also said, hey, expletive. Which expletive do you think he said? Uh, hey, uh, uh, dick cheese. I don't know. <laughs> hey, dick cheese. I'm a cop. I'm going to arrest you. That's what he said to the, yeah. em- the poor employee at Subway. And then, um, and then, yeah, and they said it costs an extra 80 cents to add cheese to a foot-long sandwich. He was very upset about that. Yeah, yeah. He got arrested. Like he's Fuck never been there before. Yeah. And then the mayor of Kennesaw. Oh, yes. Derek Easterling told Channel 2 News that he was shocked when he found out about this. Is he that said, the, that's the cross-dressing mayor. He said, are you kidding what? me? Was the first thing that popped up in my mind. Wait, tell me about that, because I don't really know. Is know the cross the dressing well, mayor? there's a couple of things. So there was a former mayor uh-huh. that that is in jail on child pornography who we used to teach at uh, the karate school. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he's what? in jail now. And they scrubbed his name off of the rec- off the scrolls of uh, the history the of mayors. The scrolls. Of <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> they they, they the, scrubbed it off the train. The annals but the of current Kennesaw mayor, history. The current mayor of Kennesaw did some cross-dressing um, uh-huh. uh, stage show. And, obvi- and he's a Republican, obviously. They oh, were so I remember that. hearing about that. He he did it as like a... Uh, it was a joke, though. It wasn't even it was like, like Halloween. Really, yeah, it was like a Halloween thing. And it was like, <laughs> no! Like, we don't dress yeah. as women! Yeah. Would somebody think of the kids, please? Yeah, I know. Honestly, Hinkle's right. Hey, vote for Hinkle. <laughs> Mayor of what? Where do you live now? Cartersville? Yeah, Cartersville. Okay. Is it white? What? Uh, white. I'm, I'm like five minutes away from Royal uh, White. White County? Black no, County. No, White Georgia, Georgia. Oh, you are Georgia. no distance from white, my friend. There's, you are you're way, you're the, you've been there your whole life. No, uh, there's, there's a white, there's a white Georgia and there's a white county. Yeah, yes. yeah. There's a Butts so, County. There's a Butts County. Yeah. Every time there's a tornado warning, I'm yep. reminded of that. Yep, yep. Butts County. And there's there was a all, Lowndes County. Yeah. There was also a major cocaine trafficking operation from a rapper uh, in Atlanta. I heard about that. Yeah. Um. The fuck. Yes, uh, so uh, Columbia BT was running a four million dollar cocaine operation. And he had Columbia in his name. Yes, but and he, he was dealing cocaine. But he was living in Kennesaw, and he ran a warehouse on Cordell Drive, south of the airport, where he uh-huh. received shipments of cocaine hidden in tractor trailers sent from Colorado. Was that where the teen teeny bopper club used to be? Um, you remember that? Remember the Teeny Bopper Club? You mean the, the one that was right up there by the by Sparkles, Sparkles and yeah. the uh, Huddle House? Yeah, where uh, uh, it was yeah, uh, Sharky Luck. used to DJ there. No, it wasn't the Tone Look place. That no. was the bank. Ah. No, that was the bank up in Marietta. That one, the... I can't remember. Uh, Junior would remember that. Yeah, everybody, remember everybody that. listening who doesn't know all this yeah. shit, there was a there was a former bank uh, on the side of the road uh, near us that uh, turned into a club. It was a bank, then it became a club, and then Tone Look came and sang a song there. Yeah. We were gonna do that. Uh, you'd mentioned this uh, this new segment where we watch movies I've never seen. Yes, I have here in my notes that I still haven't seen Batman and Robin. Oh, well, that that might be the first one then. That's gotta be. Well, That's kind of a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wish, know, I, 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 wish I had not. We yeah, were gonna hate watch the new Ghostbusters. Yeah, let's do that for sure. How, do that yeah, first, I haven't seen it yet. How um <laughs> how is it that they've made eight Rocky movies? How is that? How is it that that's Hold on, happened? hold on, hold on. Let's okay. Rocky one, Rocky two, yeah. Rocky three, Rocky four, yeah. right? Five, and then six. Rocky Balboa. Was five? Balboa. Five was Rocky Balboa. No, there was Just five. Then there was Rocky Balboa. Wait, 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 wait. Rocky, hold on. 
Yeah. In Creed Five. One, Creed which two. one was the one where where his son uh, was played by that one dude? Uh, and he shows that he's basically estranged from his son, and his son's like a fucking Wall Street over the fucking. top. No, <laughs> it's close. It's That's basically the same premise. Movie. Oh, no, uh, I th- <laughs> it wasn't Rocky Balboa. What happened in Rocky Balboa? Was, that was, was that where he was? He, he was they old. Did, they had a computer simulation, yeah. and then he ran up the steps at the end. Was that the one where he's in Burma? Oh god, that's, <laughs> that's the one where he was. Rambo? That's the one where I'm in the crowd. <laughs> That, that's the one where I'm in the crowd at the end somewhere. Of your what, Rocky? Of Rocky Balboa. You're in Rocky Balboa. In the in an enormous <laughs> crowd. Really? And yeah. Do you pull your dick out like in? Uh, I wore in fucking. Uh, I wore bright uh, orange. Uh, so I could try team to yeah. Do you remember, remember that? Where no. the guy in the crowd at the end pulled his dick out. Uh-oh. He was at the top of the fucking. <laughs> he was at the top of the bleachers. You remember that, Ryan? <laughs> guy right. pulled his dick guy out. Pulled the top his dick of the out bleachers at the top of the bleachers at the end of uh, of of of. Um, uh, Teen Wolf. Oh yes, I Teen remember Wolf. that. Yep. There's also that weird thing at the end of Back to the Future Three where uh, Jules and Vern do that weird. Uh, yeah, he does the weird points like, to his points to his yeah, junk. Yeah. Um, how? The, it, yeah. Do you know the theory behind that? That it's like he's point. He's telling Marty that this isn't real or something. There's like these conspiracy theories that he goes, like he's like come here, can you, can you, jump in, jump in my pants or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the, um, there. So. Uh, they're also gonna make a Galaga TV show. You know Galaga, the Gallagher? arcade game about shooting little spaceships that fly in a formation. Yes, so that's gonna be yes. a TV show. TV uh, show? Yeah, it's gonna be a TV show. Battlestar Gal- Galaga. It's just Galaga. <laughs> it's just Galaga. This thing we made a song about because uh, it sounds like Galaga. Uh, um, they're gonna do that. Picard's coming back. Picard's coming back. Murphy Brown is back. Murphy Brown is back because everybody wanted it. Uh, Roseanne is back. No, she's not. But she did. She's gone now. But Ro- Roseanne and Murphy Brown are back, and yeah. Full House is back. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's hey, all back. I was in Houston at work, <laughs> at my new work. I gotta tell you about my new work. But also recently, I was at Houston for my work, and I was at Kroger, and they got a Kroger there. But I was, we were there. It was late at night, and I was trying to buy something. And over the thing, over the music, they were playing. Um, I just listened. And I heard it's Friday night, and the mood is right. And I said, that's the TGIF theme from the TV show. Uh-huh. But I'm trying to explain it to the, the, the 20-year-olds that I'm working with. It's like, no, this is from TGIF, from, from Full House and, and Family Matters. Step by step. Dinosaurs. Yeah, they look and, at uh, you sideways. Like, what? And, and I was like, we're going to have some fun, show yeah. you how it's done. done. And they were using TGIF. it for TGIF. Yeah. yeah. Fucking, I haven't heard that song in 25 years, but I, yeah. They were playing it over the, the, um, the music at the store. Shit in the world, so much shit to behold. We got so much shit in here, and all the children cry aloud. Shit is good, look at shit, shit on wood, shit on shit. Shit is shitty, so are you. Shit is what you want. Space Pigeon Radio. What's, uh, what's new with the rest of you? Matt Hinkle, Hinkle, Matt Hinkle, maybe let's get a Hinkle what's update. Your, what's new with you? Do, 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 do. I've done nothing for the last three years. You made beer. Yeah, I made beer. You made now, beer. Uh, uh, what? So what? Are you? What, what? Are you still playing uh, Warcraft, or what are you playing? No, I've got. I, I you go back and forth. Go back and forth. Did you it's, trade your PS3 in for a PS2? Oh no, we've just you've gone full circle. I'm not even bothering with the game consoles anymore. You're done with consoles. Yeah. So you don't so, have a game console? No. You just all PC. Yeah. So you have one that you're not using? No, they're they're all <laughs> they're gone. all gone. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Hmm. So, Warcraft. Mm-hmm. Is it the same Warcraft that you were playing when? We were roommates. Yes, it's the same Warcraft, but they just had expansion packs and shit yeah. like that. Okay, so they could just keep doing this shit for oh, fucking. Yeah. How long? How long has Warcraft been around now? Two thousand four. Jesus, fourteen years. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. That's so, that's then, uh, fascinating. So and we work, know. Yes. I was gonna say at work. You know, mm-hmm. we have the 
out back of our office we I can, by the view, highway. can view the nice new express lanes mm -hmm. and just watch people ah, go yes. by them mm -hmm. yes the express lanes have you guys uh, had yes. a chance to use those i use them regularly I I they're not. amazing i i like them well, too they're good yeah has it has it cut down on traffic up 75 yes Th there was a three-week period uh -huh. where traffic was basically perfect every day uh -huh. but now it's starting to creep back into Why? Its old ways. What do you think well, that is? I think it was nice when it was just the people that that had it, and it was toll free, and everyone hadn't gotten it. So it was it was like literally just yeah a nice express lane, and you can't there's no weaving in between it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you so, just got to stay on it, right? So both the regular lanes and the express lanes were nice, and now that everyone's on it, it's starting to slow down with slow people. Um, can I ask you to debunk the story that, uh, or or maybe verify a story? Ooh. There is this whole thing about uh, back in the day that you used to drive to the airport to go people watch. Was that a true thing? No, I went to the airport and had beer. But uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So you drove from Ackworth to the, the airport just to have beer? Yeah, I went to the TGI Fridays at Ex the airport. Ex the <laughs> no, wait, explain this further because there's a TGI Fridays like I, way closer than the airport. I easier to get no into. Idea. So there's got to be a reason behind it, right? Like it wasn't just. I recall doing it, but I have no. People. I don't know the reason why I did that. I'm really curious, though. Can you try to like get back in that mindset of like your Hinkle from that uh, year, whatever that was, like 2000. Was this two was, or something? Was this like you wanted to travel more? Was this kind of, or you just no. thought that the people that were in an airport were interesting? Which is is it is kind of true. People look different. People look different, a lot of and they're places. yeah. So you just said one night, fucking damn it, I'm bored and want to drink. Where should I go get beer? <laughs> Hartsfield Atlanta. International. Hartsfield Atlanta Airport sounds like a good call. <laughs> I, I remember doing it, but I have absolutely no idea what motivated me to do that. Wow, that's fascinating. It is fascinating. Um, have you done it since then? No. No. Have you gone anywhere else unusual to drink that uh, besides like your house or a local bar? No. Was this pre nine okay, eleven? That's no. This couldn't have been pre nine eleven because I because I had just turned eleven. I had just turned twenty one in two thousand one. How many times did it happen? I have no clue. Well, here, here. So you don't have a clue. So it wasn't just like maybe once. Like it was more than once. It could have been once. What Let's about go. if they had they had tagged you and like you were on some fucking list because it was like he just comes every like two <laughs> weeks and drinks two beers at the TGI Fridays I've, and leaves. I've flown since then. Sure. Yeah. Was this before or after? I went you, to New Jersey. <laughs> was this before or after you were in the Air Force? If you can recall, it had to have been before. You were driving the Tacoma. I remember that because yeah. I remember you went rogue one day. <laughs> and that was the theory was that you went to the airport so before the air force you were 21 you're like i want to drink and i'm going to drive to the airport I, yeah yeah <laughs> and then i think that's the only that's all the story yeah just, yeah I did, did, it, I, did, I, I did that thought cross your mind of like i'm gonna meet a random lady and just get on a plane and go with her somewhere no because i didn't have any money for airfare well, you wouldn't have had to have necessarily had to have had money if you met the right person. Ah, do you remember like a rich lady to get get back out to your car so you didn't have to pay for two hours of parking? I don't know. Don't remember. <laughs> don't recall. Oh man, this is such an interesting thing. You, I've always wondered about this. <laughs> do you have calendars? <laughs> can you do show you have, your yeah, calendars? Can you show a calendar? No, because no, like, I'm, I'm not fucking psycho. We keep <laughs> calendars for thirty years. Oh, okay, Matt. Now, uh, that, now that you're here, there was a question from one of our listeners um, on. I think it was episode <laughs> six, and um, you have questions from listeners. Bob D. Mm -hmm. Bob D. <laughs> asks, Who is that? Uh, it, are we living in a, a simulation? Are we living in a simulation? Is this a simulated reality? I can't disprove it. But what are your thoughts? Are we likely in a simulation? I think we are. I think we possibly are because things have gotten are. so weird. They've gotten so weird. I think that when Cerner like uh, bombed those... Like, is the hard drive getting full? Yeah, the hard drive, there's sectors that are dying on the hard ah. drive. Cerner bombed all those uh, particles, and it created a universe where the um, Higgs boson exists. Okay. So, how will we ever know that's not what happened? I don't know anything about that, but yeah, I was no. in Barnes & Noble the other day and really had to go to the bathroom while I was there. And uh, went into the bathroom, and uh, on on the bathroom stall wall, somebody took a lot of time to scrawl like a penis and testicles, with with <laughs> sperm flying out of it on the 
on the stall of the Barnes and Noble bathroom, and I just yeah. thought. More what? time than hold usual? Well, was it well, veiny? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. There's yeah. a Barnes and Noble still around? <laughs> yeah, there is, but uh, I just want to know what was, like, you know, on this whole, is are we living in a simulation? Like, Yeah, you, you notice there's always someone at the red box. That's a fucking Agent Smith. Who the... Who, yeah. There's always yeah. someone standing there waiting yeah. in line for their physical movie. Yeah. <laughs> physical movie. <laughs> still... Yeah, like, that, that, my parents don't age. even use red Not box. named my mom. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just yeah. have this like strong urge that like there was a non non player character NPC that was that was the one that sketched this uh, this penis on the stall of this bookstore. Uh, like there's goombas what, everywhere. Because if it was a real person, well, like what? How? Well, let's go back to your to your Higgs boson. Yeah. So particle the thing. Higgs boson never existed. So in looking for it, they tore like bombarding everything and creating black holes. Yeah. They tore a hole and we they sent us down an alternate <coughs> timeline into a universe where the Higgs boson does exist. Yeah. And Donald Trump is president. Well, the, the <laughs> it was like a year or two ago when uh, they when they fired it up or whatever. Remember? Ten years ago. No, no, actually. no. Well, well, they were doing something to basically. <laughs> find the Higgs boson like recently mm-hmm. where they were doing some sort of experiment on it and they were like yeah it might rip a hole in time and space yeah but we'll see what happens well, and like I never it. heard any and that was what that they did I find. actually wrote it down too I said that because it had been it's 10 years since timeline. our Halloween party yeah and 10 years ago they fired up the CERN accelerator crazy we're mentioning it now and uh, what else happened 10 years ago Estelle Getty has been dead for 10 years <laughs> <laughs> um, rest in peace they stopped airing mama's listen to this they stopped airing mama's family only two years prior to the end of Golden Girls. It seems like a lot longer, right? Yeah. Uh, Kosovo declared independence. Okay, 10 years ago. Okay. 7.9 earthquake killed uh, 87,000 people in China. Okay. And uh, I remember that. Expo 2008, they held in Zaragoza, Spain, uh-huh. and which was itself was the 10-year anniversary of Expo 1998 uh-huh. in Ackworth, Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of milestones. Which had soul stained velvet. Oh, in it. oh, okay. Yeah. Now the the penis in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't let could, go of that. Could that's awesome. Could that have been because you can't bring merchandise into the bathroom at Barnes and Noble, <laughs> so they had no reading material? So they just <laughs> doodled. Who, like who? Who, this, who, who besides did, Michael Crow walks around with fucking sharpies in their pocket? Or who doodles a penis? <laughs> no, they <laughs> carved it. They carved it. Do you have any in your pocket it. right now? They they carved carved it? God damn it! They carved it. It was not a like every color. So it took effort. No, they keys, they etched no. it. Okay. They like man. etched it into the wall with a with oh with a, car keys yeah, with, a, with a with aggression. I guess yeah. They carved. Like, oh, well, fucking dick was fucking sperm coming they out. Ca- they carved a portrait of a dick. Like, was there any writing next to it or anything? No, it was no, like, no. Like, like artist I love to see dicks just, just fucking explode just the sperm. A, just, a, just, a, <laughs> just a rendering of that. Uh, um, what the fuck? Yes. The, uh... <laughs> I, <laughs> you, you, you notice all these innovations in shopping cart checkout everywhere? In the last year, uh, so you can go to Walmart and sit down in a chair, and they'll bring everything to you, your lazy ass. I have not you know, seen that. Like oh, the pickup, the pickup order. Thing? Oh, they'll bring it to your car. And you go to yeah. Kroger, yeah. and you can pick yeah. up a scanning machine and go scan uh-huh. everything yeah. and walk out with it. I do. That, that's kind of what I do right now. I do some of that stuff. I see it, and I'm like, oh, this is some newfangled thing. Mm-hmm. Not my, ready for it. My Kroger has a bar in it. What? Yeah, my Kroger isn't open 24 hours anymore. <laughs> Yeah, that's a sucky suck. Yeah, what am I going to do? Like at leaving here, go to CVS, I don't get my know. chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> CVS. I got. Yeah, you uh, go to Walmart. And my get bro, some you can't get chicken wings at CVS. Twenty four hours either. You want to know my big peeve right now? Let's hear it. It's a place called Spinnaker Resorts. Like Spinnakers in in Panama City. They call. <laughs> Oh. They they're one of those people that robo call uh, me all the fucking day long, all the time. Really? They spoof numbers like daily is a different number calls me, mm-hmm. and then the same thing happens every time. I answer the phone, I say hello, and then it's a little too long before somebody says yes hello hello, hello? Yeah, we got one hello yeah. and then I go hi and they go my name is hey Ricky. is this they go is this James and I'm like and then and then they go. <laughs> They go, well, this is Lisa from Spinnaker Resorts, and I just wanted to say that you you are in our... You have a credit with us, and we'd like to see if you'd like a package to come down, blah, blah, blah. And um, they've done it over and over and over. And, like, I, at first I was just, like, it happened, like, about 20 times, and I, was, I just keep blocking the numbers. Like, I just... I, 
I start hanging up on them as soon yeah. as they start saying like I'm so and so from Spinnaker Resorts, and it happens every day. And then, uh, and then I started getting angry about it. Yeah. <laughs> and like they would call, hello. I go hello. They go hi. They go, this is James. I was like, and I, one day I said, is this Spinnaker Resorts? <laughs> <laughs> and they said. Y- yes. <laughs> I go, stop calling me. <laughs> Please take me off your list. Is and it timeshare? <laughs> is it timeshare? Yeah, it's like yeah. timeshare oh, shit. Geez. And like, they, they keep continuing to call. And I put, I put myself on the do not call list and like all this kind of shit. And I don't know what to do now. I'm really angry. <laughs> yeah, uh, the do not call list, people will call. No, okay, the, what else can you do? The, yeah. uh, um, um, oh, there's a there's a uh, just Google just go on YouTube and like look up um, basically the IRS scam like calls from India mm. and like I went down that uh, that rabbit hole recently like like because my sister was telling me she was getting these calls where they were pretending to be the IRS the IRS doesn't call you and say right. you owe blah 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 they don't do that shit they send you a fucking letter and then you know fucking they get lawyers involved or whatever the fuck and then you got to get a lawyer they don't call you on the phone you know and say well, you need to pay this money right now. So like the 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 fucking uh, scam is like they have these call centers in India and they call and they say a sheriff is going to come pick you up if you don't pay two thousand dollars right now and I need you to go to a grocery store and buy an iTunes card uh-huh. and basically like yeah so they, but this it works like it uh-huh. works for these people they fucking make money off of this shit so I started watching these videos where people like were getting these calls just like how you are like yeah. constantly constantly so they basically were just waiting and they would record themselves like fucking just fucking with them and they had like a one one video I watched where this dude like. I mean, he spent two hours on the phone with this guy, acting like he was going up to the corner store to fucking buy <laughs> iTunes cards, God. and then he starts like basically like, <laughs> like telling him the fucking numbers on the cards, and he's fucking it up, and he's like, "I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses. I'm sorry." And the guy's like, "Are you fucking?" And, he just start, and then like his 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 Indian accent starts getting you know thicker and thicker, you know. Mm-hmm. And then the end of it, he's like basically just you know reveals that he's you know just fucking with him, and the guy like hangs up the phone and fucking quit, <laughs> like like sounds like he's quitting, you know, the job. Uh, but anyways, I've never been called by these people but i've i've talked to people but and and i guess they they try to target the elderly you know of course but like yes. fucking like an elderly person going like let, let's you know go up to a fucking kroger and but buy two thousand dollars worth of fucking itunes cards and give me the fucking itunes that's how the irs works you know they they only right, accept right, right. itunes cards <laughs> <laughs> you should know grandma yeah grandma get with it um i'm gonna i'm gonna um give my butt a break yeah, quick break. <laughs> but a break. We'll be right back with the wow. finale of episode 18 of Space Bitch Radio. <laughs> Yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. Santa Claus is smoking some high grain weed. Whoop that man's ass. So we scrolled down his list and overlooked. He thought Matthew Hinkle needs a hook. Er. I got a Drano bomb! I'm so Tyler took the Drano bomb. And he put in a fucking bomb. We're back. Hey. Hey, okay. everybody. We're back on Space Pigeon Radio. Yeah, it feels better to uh, stand up. That beer really does smell like weed. We're drinking beer that smells like weed tonight. Woo! Everybody get happy. Um, real quick, uh, before we, we go into, we got a segment where Matt Hinkle is going to surprise us all with something. We're going to have uh, a real quick sports minute on Space Pigeon Radio. So on the sports minute, uh, first, Mike, uh, this is uh, where we will ask, uh, what do the Falcons need to do? The Falcons are struggling. What do the Falcons need to do, in your opinion? They need to run the fucking ball. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, what do they need to do to, yes. to to turn the season around? Yes, what do they need to do? Focus on the number one pick. Not get injured. Yeah, it's it's too many injuries, Ryan. That's that that's that's the main issue right now. Uh, the the thing that I was worried about coming into this season was Steve Sarkeesian uh, and Matt Ryan seeing that if they can mesh year two, coordinator and quarterback. Uh, they've meshed well. Matt Ryan's looking good. Had a count off week last week, but the rest of the season. Uh, the rest of the beginning of the season, he's looked pretty good. Uh, running game, they need to get the they need to, they need to run the ball. 
That, that they, they haven't got the running game going much. Uh, Devontae Freeman's been injured for most of the season. And the defense is just decimated right now. You lost Keanu Neal. He's a, he's a pro bowler. You lost, you lost uh, Ricardo Allen. He's a, he's a pro bowler. Grady Jarrett is, is, is dinged up. Uh, uh, Tack McKinley's been injured. He's, he's the number one sack guy on the on the team. Actually, led, he was leading the league a couple weeks ago in sacks. So you got a lot of you got a lot of injuries. I don't know if the strength and conditioning guy. There's there, there's there may be some some bad juju there or something. But Arthur Blank's not happy is what I'm hearing. So uh, they they need to clean it up. Dan Quinn's got to he's going to rally the troops and try and get these uh, second and third string guys to really kind of step up. But I think it's going to be a long haul, Ryan. It's going to be a, a tough season, but they can turn it around. Yes. So if you were to ask me the same question and say, like, Ryan, what do the Falcons need to do to turn it around uh, this this season? What would you say? I would be saying Falcons need to run the ball. Uh-huh. I thought you were going to say rise. They up. need to pass the ball. Uh-huh. Sometimes they need to kick the ball. Sure. It's true. When it's appropriate. It's very true. Kick the ball. <laughs> they need to protect the quarterback. Uh-huh. And they need to play a good defense. Yes. You, dude, you you totally did Chris Collinsworth's job. <laughs> like. I'm trying to show the difference in knowledge yeah. of yeah. sports between you and me. <laughs> no, I think I think you and Al Michaels could uh, could 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 host Monday Night Football now, like instead of Chris Collinsworth. I can tell you that they need to run, mm-hmm. pass, <laughs> score, defend. See what sometimes <laughs> so you don't even have to say protect the quarterback. See, Ryan, what, what it all comes down to is is one big man and us uh, against another big man. That's a John Madden quote right there. <laughs> I don't know a lot about the Falcons, sure. <laughs> but sure. I will gladly watch them and enjoy the game. Yeah, I find it interesting that I have never been able to understand details of sports. Sure, and you can understand details of sports in a way that I cannot. Well, it's. Uh, well, what it is right now? No, uh, it, 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 it's yeah. I just follow it every day. Like I follow like what's going I on. I think that's I follow what it the is. Draft and shit like that. But you like, and I know like other other like teams, like players on other teams and shit. But like, I focus mainly on the Falcons. Like I know a lot about that fucking team. But the like like for ba- for example, like baseball. You know, the Braves are in the playoffs recently. And like Justin knows fucking everything about baseball. All the players, he knows all the stats, all this shit. I don't know fucking like I just know I, I oh yeah I've seen the Braves I, I watch the Braves the way you watch the Falcons I go yay I like it like, yeah good job I like, don't know what there is that I know a lot about the way that you know a lot about the Falcons like I yeah I guess I know a little bit about uh, music you know yeah. some music yeah some movies some about video games and mm-hmm. some movies mm-hmm. properties that's, that's where I fill up that part of my brain sure. Media. Yeah. I guess it's random media shit. Well, I like, it, it, I, I kind of shifted from knowing like a lot about current bands and albums and shit, like the shit that's going on now, back to football again. Like I've gone back and forth in, li- in life. Mm-hmm. Like I, I followed it a lot more when I was younger, and then like I quit for a little while, and then when Mike Vick started playing, I, I started getting back into the Falcons again. Yeah. But I like, I mean. Do I you just, guys do you guys have something that you totally have like a knowledge about? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. I like yes. beer. Uh, I drink beer. So I Matt, still like so beer. So Matt, you brought a gift. Yeah, yeah. I so that was the sports corner. Sports corner. <laughs> <laughs> no, you established it. Mike, you should, you way too much it reminds about. me. Reminds me of there's this guy in Philadelphia that I was watching when it was like like Braves and Phillies. I would always tune into. It was like sports talk with Broads. Yeah, but he was the, he was like this Philly guy. and He's like so Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like the Phillies are just awful. Awful. We're just we're just throwing the ball. Downfield. <laughs> I gotta show it to you because it's the most Philadelphia really? guy I've ever really? seen. I said, him, "I said this is the most perfect Philadelphia <laughs> accent I've ever heard." This should be the, this should be the fucking Philly fanatic. What is going like, on, guys? <laughs> what is going on out here? <laughs> so, so what is it no, you got there I, in that uh, bag? Big reveal. This, this had been at my office and for a long time, and I figured I'd bring it back and oh, add shit. to this. Ah! 
Sorry. Oh, it? God. Yes. Oh, it's the John Stamos That's shrine. Part of the John Stamos shrine. It is shrine. the entire John Stamos shrine. The entire John shrine. Stamos shrine. Oh, my shrine. God. Is it Cambot? The entire Cambot. Like, hold it real up, folks. Give me rocket number nine. There you go. That's. Did, yeah. did I give it to you? Got, Holy God. What was the chain of custody? I had it. I, uh, and I, I got I some of it, it from Chris. Many pictures of John Stamos that were in a shrine at the former uh, Sons of Ackworth Bolton house. Yeah. Uh, are now here sitting on the Space Vision radio table. Oh my god, I'm there's glad the, this There's is the here. one yeah. There's the one that has the X's over the yeah, entire that, that, that's, cast that's except for John one. Stamos. That's my favorite one. Yeah. That is a beautiful thing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Thank you. John Stamos with the monkey. Is oh, cle so cleaning funny. out the it's office so at work. It may be, I may be going back to a cube so I don't need a don't lot need, of stuff there. Need, yeah. I actually, is that an upgrade or a, a not a downgrade? I guess. Well, I have an office office now. They're gonna kick you out of an oh. office and put you in back in a cube. I think that's that happens oh. all the fucking time. That doesn't bother me. No. Can we timeshare the John Stamos shrine because I want to? <laughs> yes. I, I, I want to wear it for uh, to to have it in in my unusual work situation. It's a good conversation piece. <laughs> it's I, a, yeah, what about your work con your yeah, unusual work con con situation? Funny thing about that, Ryan. <laughs> funny segue was, about the, that. For the longest for the longest time I wasn't working at all, you'll remember. I was just kinda laying on the ca remember for most of the episodes I wasn't doing anything. I was just mm -hmm. coming here and I hadn't oh, seen yeah. anything because oh, I had yeah. no no way to see media at all. And then oh, I finally yeah. got a job in the in the last uh last episode that we had done and you had just had a baby and you had just mm -hmm. had gotten a dog so, <laughs> so it was, we, we were all making moves in the new phases of our lives and yes. Uh, yes. so it, but i work in this place in dead silence there's like uh -huh. like we go in person and uh, it, there's no working from home and uh i'm totally entrusted to do everything and we i see my boss once a week and uh I'm in a room with developers and it's dead silence. Like, like I can hear this one girl like chewing and like talking under her breath, like, Ugh. like clicking that and frightening. clearing take, her throat. Take us there with all the senses. Like, what does it smell like? What does it look like? What does it sound like? Uh, like, what is it? What is? You you go in. Well, it sounds like I'm directly above a daycare. So it sounds Are you like literally above a daycare. Directly above okay. a daycare. Okay. And so it's like the sound of screaming, like fucking kick cacophony of like cacophony. sirens <laughs> yeah. and then uh, then they're building something down there so there's a woman screaming I, back up turn your car around yeah like all day yeah. like don't fucking come down here and then there's the kids right there sorry and then um so i walk in and there's there's like nothing that, like i sit down and i like hello everybody and nobody talks nobody says anything i say goodbye everybody Nobody says anything. Yeah. So I want to go in. I want to just start putting up the John Stamos shrine, maybe to see <laughs> see what happens if it evokes it, or like come some in and conversation blow or some yeah, yeah. Hire a clown to come in with Hire a clown. horns. <laughs> that juggle. sounds frightening. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Does it sound like that? Yes. It, it would. That in silence, which would be definite. So it's like so. This one girl that sits behind me, her name is Kushboo, and. uh so I like I hear mm -hmm. her talking. Was she's that trying Irish? to read what the screen. That? It's uh, Indian, <laughs> <laughs> and she's trying to, uh, it, like, she's trying to think to herself. But after she eats for like an hour to an hour and a half, you could hear her clearing her throat. Like, oh, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> <clears throat> for an hour. <clears throat> so I'm just like, this is the sound of the playground in the background that you're hearing. No, it, like it's more like. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> What's Kushboo saying? <coughs> <coughs> this is your day. What are you trying to do while you hear all this? Then click say yes. Is that true? If A equals true and B equals true, then it's true. I, I work with one of them. Program out loud, basically. No, she's like talking under her breath, but there's no sound anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so you could just hear her thinking. Like, I work with people that reheat fish all the time. I almost said that, but they don't even do that. Yeah. No, I work with people that do that shit. <laughs> well, it, it's bad. That is a cardinal sin. Oh God, you it's do bad. Not yeah. No. Fish. No, it happens like all the time. I reheat fish more than they do. What would you say <laughs> to somebody that reheated fish in front of you? 
No, 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 no. I wouldn't say anything. I will just go back to my desk and judge them. Why? Why won't you confront them? Because I, I, I want to keep my job. Fuck your job. Be a man. <laughs> Be a man. <laughs> No, my like I. Uh, Pickle needs money. So my at my job money. at my job there is no assigned seating, because Ooh. we're a campus. Oh god! And they have lockers, and I I couldn't get into a locker the other day because it was the first time I've used a locker. Oh, I don't know, in twenty five years or something, you know. <laughs> mm. So like I fucked up the combination, like setting the combination, and so I had to go downstairs and go. I fucking need somebody to get in this locker, and they were like. Well, we gotta call these off-site people, and it'll take three days. And I'm like, no, like that's fucking go get a key and unlock the locker. Like, I need to get this shit out of here and give it to somebody. Mm. And uh, they're like, oh, geez. and then basically, I hate that crap. yeah. And then basically, like the lady at the front desk, she goes, call this number, and I called the number, and I was like, yeah, they said three days, and she goes, three days. She goes, that isn't right, and I go, it isn't. Like no, ma'am, it is not. And she goes, well, let me. Call. She go, and then she told me, "Hey, call this guy in the in the in the in the shipping room." And I was like, "Oh, I know him. I'll go talk to him. We talk about uh, sports all the time, actually." Uh-huh. So I go down there and I'm like, "Hey, man!" And he goes, "Yeah, dude, I got you." He and he like literally within five seconds had a dude uh, like found a dude and the dude was up there at the locker. And I was like, mm-hmm. "Fucking if I was anybody else, like if if I hadn't said that to that lady, I would have waited three days and like." the shit I had to give somebody that was like do just to get your things yeah just to get my things so it's just like it's fucking stupid and they're trying to like it's like the company I, the company I work for I will not mention it but they uh their their whole like the the propaganda that they they kind of spread all around the building is like that we're young and diverse you know and it's a lot of oh, yes. older people that have been there that, that I work with it's di- it's diverse there's a lot of different types of people and shit but it's a lot like there's not a lot of young people that work in the entire department that I work in it's a, like a lot of people that have been there for over 20 years mm-hmm. so like you see these like it's like it, they call it like uh, they have these catchphrases you know and it's like you know hashtag blah 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 and it's like and then they have these big screens in the hallways where they'll play like it's like you know people that work here are tweeting about us and it's always the interns uh-huh. And it's like they have all these interns come in, and it's just like having a great day, you know. Blah, 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 I'm not doing any work, you know. Like <laughs> yeah. hashtag horsey sauce. Yeah. Oops. No, it's not. I don't work for Arby's. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't work for Arby's for a while. <laughs> okay. But uh, but yeah. Anyway, so I'm a contractor for them for this company, and uh, yeah. So I was gonna make. I don't it like. I don't bleeped. But yeah. Yeah. Got it wrong. Yeah. It's it's a job, but I like the whole like. You know, we've done studies, and you know, like we fucking see Google, and Google does this shit. So we're gonna try and like, you know, what I'm saying oh, everybody's it's, trying to copy Google fucking, or yeah. Steve Jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, it, yeah, yeah, it's I don't know, it's nonsense. I work at a pretty decent place. It's right by the Brave Stadium, and the, they once found a dead body in the freezer. Yes, in the freezer. <laughs> you know the story behind that. that? Uh, they, I don't. Is this, he was passed out or something. No, he was. Uh, was he, the he was a beer. Yeah, he invented a a way that keeps be, that like you can. It's not funny. You can send. <laughs> no, you no, can send, is, you can send laughing, beer you know. to the taps, uh-huh. like, and it's cold. It's like super cold. So he created this like this basically like this this draft process, and like the, he was try. He owned this company, and he was try. He was like like he got the bid for. Uh, not. I was gonna say Could Turner you? Field, but SunTrust. And he was like working on on it, like he was like physically there in the fucking coolers. And I mean, like, I'm trying to figure out because because you used to work, you know, in restaurants. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like there's they build the doors so they don't lock. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying to find that, figure that because it's brand new cooler doors. Maybe there's a CO2 link and he's suffocated. It could be that, yeah. But that's 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 what it was. Yeah. So yeah, anyways This poor man This poor man Invented a system of cooling beer
die for our sins. It's not it at all. <laughs> <laughs> This song doesn't sound like. Don't come over and got to a Secret, secret. I've got a secret. You want me to straight up? I invented a way of cooling beer. Secret, secret. I've got a secret. I'm dead in the cooler. That's fucked up. I'm sorry. That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. I apologize. That makes sense. That's really fucked up. Why are you judging me, Matt? <laughs> so, so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. Despacito. Maybe, maybe this is fucking you up. I think we have multiple... Uh... Imagine if, um, like, uh, you know, like, because we all want to be entertained. Sure. And it's hard to be entertained by a new idea because there's not a lot of new ideas. Imagine if they had uh, something called Cheap Batman. Cheap Batman had bad luck in the stock market and he lost all his fortune. Okay. So he's uh, he's still trying to fight crime and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. But he doesn't have all the money anymore. He's like trying to he's trying to like pay the bills and his Batmobile is like Pretty much like a black 2003 Camry with <laughs> one white door on it. And it's got a couple of bat wings that are stuck to it with like a bad Bondo job. Yeah. Um, his outfit is pretty much like whatever he could he could put together at like Tuesday morning store. Tuesday and uh, It's like a shower curtain and like a hoodie. Yeah, and he's kind of like duct taped a yeah. mask together. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, He's got a spray painted in black and whatnot, and he's got a GoFundMe page to try to like bug all his friends on Facebook. Yeah. So he can build new bat crime fighting gadgets and, and shit like that. Like <laughs> And then he and then he's got like he's got like his villains. He's still got the same villains. He's the got same like villains. The, jo the Joker's trying to fight him. So and the everything. villains have more money than he does, so it's kinda like becomes a thing. Well, yeah, the villains are like pretty, pretty like well, well off. off. Yeah, Joker's got like the Joker, Joker uh, like whole carnival park mm -hmm. with his face like a hundred feet high. Yeah, and rides and things. Yeah, and here comes cheap Batman. Yeah, rolling up in the shitty car. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a while. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, uh, like Batman with your he goes. Batman, you you you're Kmart now, Batman. <laughs> Shut up, Joker. Yeah, that's what we need for Batman. Yeah, the market's not really treating me very well right now. <laughs> I'm still gonna take you out. Prepare to fight. You didn't diversify your funds, Batman. I made some bad decisions. My investments were not great. <laughs> but I still stand for good. And I will stop you and your evil scheme. <laughs> but he has, he has almost no there. Money. He has terrible equipment. <laughs> uh, he doesn't even have a good uh, grappling hook or anything. Batarang. Batarang. What is he? No, that's a what, bat hook. Does yeah. he still have the rule about uh, not killing people? Um, he's he's kind of swaying on that. He might start <laughs> killing people. Yeah, at this point, at this point, he's reevaluating a lot about his life. Does Superman have that rule? He doesn't kill people. Yeah, technically yes, but in the movies, he no. never needs to say it. Yeah, well, in the, like in the movies, in the recent movies, he killed Zod <laughs> and and people. let all of the people, half the people in Metropolis die. Uh, he needs to be more careful. Yeah. That. Well, he I mean, he killed Doomsday. He killed Doomsday. Like in the comic. Batman, your arsenal is so weak! That's not good. God damn you, Joker. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I bet you got those batarangs from Kmart, Batman! You sh shut up! <laughs> this one's called the love scene. Vicky Vale. I don't... I, I know some other guys might take you out. To a five-star restaurant. 
Uh, Bruce, you live in your car now. <laughs> I thought maybe we could go to your place and red box uh, the latest Kevin Hart film. Have you showered recently, Bruce? I did about three days ago at the YMCA. Have you been sleeping in the Starbucks, Bruce? So what if I have? I, I, I don't think this is going to work out. Is that the bat signal? I gotta go. <laughs> Batman makes his way to the top of the police station, Commissioner Gordon. Jesus Christ, Batman, you smell like shit. <laughs> I th <laughs> What's happened to you? My, the, the thing that I used to climb the building. <laughs> Batman, we need your help right away. I'm trying. I'm trying. The Riddler has the mayor hostage. Okay. Get okay. yourself together. Okay. My phone isn't working. Where is he? But I mean, you you have a Boost Mobile? Like that's that's your I've, phone? What happened? You used to have ran, the nice car, listen, Batman. I, I ran out of minutes. Minutes? You had a sleek sports car, all these cool gadgets, and now now your suit is just duct tape. What's happened to you? I'm Batman. We've established that. I'm Jesus, you smell. Oh. Did it seriously? Did it? Oh no. <laughs> and scene. I, I, I can find it. All over your face. And what? The shower curtain? Joker! Your time has come! I'm gonna. I'll, I'll be there in a minute. I've just gotta go around the back way because none of my tools and things are working. Just wait for me. Wait, wait right there! Have you been drinking, Batman? A little. Listen here, you joking fool! Uh, I'm the Riddler. Whoever you are, are. You that drunk Batman. I've had a very difficult month. My butler of 30 years has walked out on me. He called me a degenerate. I have nothing. Well, I feel bad for you, Batman. I'm I'm sorry. Can can I help you? Do you need some money to go to the local shelter? I can help you, Batman. I will not take your charity. You I mean, vicious fiend. I mean, I'm trying to be nice to you, Batman. I mean, I feel I feel bad for you. I'm I'm really sorry. It, it almost reminds me of the story of the man in the news recently, the really rich man, Bruce Wayne, that's lost all his money. It's You're down on, on, on your luck, just like that, man. Well, that's a strange coincidence. It has nothing to do with me. Oh, surely it doesn't. Of course. Yes, I understand. Now listen, you unhand that bank manager. Let go of him. Let go of me! Well, okay, Batman. Yes? Riddle me this. Who needs $20 for the shelter and is going to suck my dick for it? Obviously, no one here. You're deranged, Joker. You're absolutely crazy. I'm the Riddler. <laughs> you really are sauced, Batman. Anyway. I'm just gonna, you know, go somewhere else. I, 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 I don't. Uh, you're, you're, the stench is kind of getting a little overwhelming. I think he urinated on me. Yeah, what's hey? Uh, what's your name? 
Bill. Hey, Bill, let's let's kind of get out of here um, and leave this guy alone. I think he's might steal our money. Now listen, I may be wearing New Balance sneakers that are both the left foot. You are wearing. And I may have a shirt full of holes and gloves that don't fit. I think he's got scabies. And a patchwork mask made of scraps and crumbs. But I still stand up for justice and truth. And I reject you, Joker. Well, that's fine, but I'm the Riddler. <laughs> I reject you! In the name of all that is good and pure and forthright and just. And even if you may have raped that woman 30 years ago, and even if no one can prove it, I will bring you to justice, Joker. I believe you're talking about Brett Kavanaugh. I don't get confused. This fake Fitbit that I'm wearing is telling me that your time is up, you screwball, wacko prince of crime. Okay, this is getting weird, Batman. I, uh, here's twenty dollars. Please just leave us alone. I think uh, I think we've had enough. You'll have enough when you're rotting in a cell. You f vile master of. Vix Vapor Rub? Really, really good comeback there, Batman. Uh, I'm gonna. So, what if I can't yeah. hire good writers these days? I'm doing my best! Now, what's happening? What are you doing with that bank manager now? What's happening to him? Why, why, have you, why are you putting him in that strange box full of acid? Batman, I'm good. I'm gonna go with the Riddler. You need to clean yourself yeah. up. Uh, we are gonna get out of here. It's been real nice, Batman, but uh, we're gonna go. And that was the end of the cheap Batman story. <laughs> I am the Kiefer Sutherland character in Dark City. There were people called the Strangers. They lived among us, but they came from the stars. Living in a dark city. It's so shitty, dark city. I'm now the new agent in charge of family deportations to the southern border. But the, even though there are many strangers among us, none of them Dark City! deserve to be able to remain with their mothers and fathers. It is a very sad time. Change bodies every night. Somebody comes in our room. All of this sadness prevails because of people like him. Dark City! <laughs> people. People like the Reverend Al Shropton, who is here with us now. Reverend Al Sharpton, please, quote James Brown. Well, I think, I think it's a bunch of malarkey is what you're saying right now, Ryan Fuqua. Please quote James Brown as you often do, Reverend Al Sharpton. I feel you good. I feel good. When you, you feel good? commentary on current events. Ha <laughs> ha Do you feel good? Yes. I feel very good. I dance good, I sing good, I make love good. <laughs> Woo!
I now turn my attention to one of life's great mysteries. How do people in southern Georgia pronounce Albany? Do they say Albany or Albany? I watched the newscaster, Brian Williams, appearing to be quite confused, trying to decipher the correct way to pronounce Albany. Albany. Apparently, people in southern Georgia say Albany. 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 Just like Ammons. Albany. 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 Tip tip. Albany. Are you talking about tip tip? Albany. What about Cairo? Albany. Where do all the peanuts come from? Is that Albany? Albany. Are you talking about Bob Austin? Albany. Is that how far south of Macon is that? Albany. Are we talking close to the Fort George line? Albany! Did you say Tipton? Perry. Perry, Georgia. Perry, that's where the that's where the peanut festival is. Is that where Jimmy Car President Jimmy Carter was from? Plains. He's from Plains, Georgia. Not Albany. Albany! <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. The Batman thing got a little weird. I still don't know what boofing means.